today we are going to learn how to tell time to the quarter hour. It is important to be able to tell time so that you are not late. Before we start looking at clocks, we need to review. Time is a measure of how long something will take to finish. For example, most movies take about 1 hour and 30 minutes. We use time to tell when we need to be somewhere or to know when something is going to happen. Time is made up of hours. Time is also made up of minutes. This is an analog clock. An analog clock has many features that help us tell time. This is the shorthand. The shorthand on a clock tells the hour. This is the long hand. The long hand on the clock tells the minutes. On an analog clock, the 12 means zero minutes. Another way to say zero minutes is o'clock. When the long hand points to the 12, you say o'clock. To tell time, you put the hour and the minutes together. This is how the time appears on a digital clock. This is how you write the time. The two dots in the middle of the time are called a colon. The hour goes first. The hour is in front of the colon. The minutes go last. The minutes are behind the colon. When you tell time to the half hour, the shorthand points to the middle of two numbers. When the long hand points to the six, it is 30 minutes. The minutes are 30 because the long hand is halfway around the clock. The minutes are 30 because the long hand is pointing to the six. The hour and minute hands move in the direction of the blue arrows. It takes 60 minutes for the minute hand to go all the way around the clock. Now that we have reviewed the parts of time and how to tell time to the hour and half hour, you are ready to learn how to tell time to the quarter hour. You already know that the clock can be divided in half. You know that when the minute hand points to the six, it is half past the hour. A clock can also be divided into four parts. Each part is called a quarter. Each quarter is 15 minutes. When the minute hand points to the three, it is a quarter past the hour. When the minute hand points to the nine, it is a quarter to the hour. This analog clock shows a time to the quarter hour. You know it is the quarter hour because the minute hand is pointing to the three. This clock says a quarter past one o'clock because the minute hand points to the three. A quarter is 15 minutes. 15 minutes have passed since one o'clock. It is a quarter past one o'clock. Another name for a quarter past one o'clock is one fifteen. This clock says 115. The hour hand is just a little bit past the one, so we know the hour is one. The minute hand points at the three, so we know the minutes are 15. This clock says 115. This analog clock shows a time to the quarter hour. You know it is the quarter hour because the minute hand is pointing to the nine. This clock says a quarter to two o'clock because the minute hand points to the nine. 
A quarter is 15 minutes. There are 15 minutes until 2 o'clock. It is a quarter to 2 o'clock. Another name for a quarter to 2 o'clock is 145. This clock says 145. The minute hand has not yet reached the 2, so we know the hour is 1. Because the hour hand is so close to the 2, we know it is almost 2 o'clock, but not yet. The minute hand points to the 9, so we know the minutes are 45. This clock says 145. Wait, that was a lot of information. Will you please simplify it for me? Remember the hands on the clock move in the direction of the blue arrow. When the minute hand points to the six, it is half past the hour. When the minute hand points to the three, it is a quarter past the hour. When the minute hand points to the nine, it is a quarter to the hour. When the minute hand points to the six, the minutes are 30. When the minute hand points to the three, the minutes are 15. When the minute hand points to the nine, the minutes are 45. When the minute hand points to the six, the hour hand is halfway between the two numbers. When the minute hand points to the three, the hour hand is just past the first number. When the minute hand points to the nine, the hour hand is almost to the second number. Now that you have learned how to tell time to the half hour on an analog clock, let's practice. What time is it? This clock says 7.15. The hour is seven because the short hand points between the seven and the eight. The hour is seven because the hour hand just passed the seven. Remember, the hour hand moves in the direction of the blue arrow. The minutes are 15 because the minute hand points to the three. This clock says 7.15. This clock says a quarter past seven because the minute hand points to the three. This clock says 7.15. What time is it? This clock says 3.45. The hour is three because the hour hand is between the three and the four, and the hour hand is almost to the four. The minutes are 45 because the minute hand is pointing to the nine. This clock says 345. This clock says a quarter to four because the minute hand points to the nine. This clock says 345. What time is it? This clock says 6.45. The hour is 6 because the short hand is between the 6 and the 7. The hour is 6 because the short hand passed the 6 and is not quite to the 7. The minutes are 45 because the minute hand is pointing to the 9. This clock says 6.45. This clock says a quarter to seven because the minute hand points to the nine. This clock says 6.45. What time is it? This clock says 12.15. The hour is 12 because the hour hand is between the 12 and the 1. 
The hour is 12 because the hour hand just passed the 12. The minutes are 15 because the minute hand points to the 3. This clock says 1215. This clock says a quarter past 12 because the minute hand points to the 3. This clock says 1215. Before we finish, let's review. Remember the hands on the clock move in the direction of the blue arrow. A clock can also be divided into four parts. Each part is called a quarter. Each quarter is 15 minutes. When the minute hand points to the three, it is a quarter past the hour. When the minute hand points to the nine, it is a quarter to the hour. When the minute hand points to the three, the minutes are 15. When the minute hand points to the nine, the minutes are 45. When the minute hand points to the three, the hour hand is just past the first number. When the minute hand points to the nine, the hour hand is almost to the second number. Now that you have learned how to tell time to the quarter hour, you are ready to practice. Thank you for learning with me today. Have fun practicing.